So, I wanted to give a little uh, anticipation before the big day tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get serious. Heading up into the Akala National Forest. Preparation. Whole different world than just hiking the Florida Trail around, uh, you know, here in Ocala and uh, just kind of hiking through the... Now there's bear and there's things to worry about and there's snakes, but uh, not like tomorrow. There's going to be lions and tigers and bears. Just woohoo! So uh, we'll see how this video turns out. I'll throw it up in portrait and uh, just want to show you the preparation. Number one, I'm hydrating. So um, just trying to drink as much water as I can tonight. That's a new addition. Found this hybrid apple at Walmart. I don't think I'd ever seen these before. I, this must be some new genetic aberration that the. <laughs> but I tell you what, it is sweet and it tastes great. And man, the size is perfect for a snack because a lot of times I don't want a whole apple. So let's just talk about the equipment that I'll be having on tomorrow. <clears throat> this is an old uh, bug jacket that I bought in Canada when the black flies were all over me. And man, I'm going to tell you what, this thing is great. The thing I like about it is it's a combination of cloth, see the cloth right here, and the bug netting. Now, a lot of the bug netting that you get now at Bass Pro or Cabela's, it's all just the netting, and that stuff scratches on you. You know, I like the, I like the feel of this cloth, uh, even though the netting is somewhat uncomfortable, but this thing is, is really great. Let's get into some of the other gear. Um, by the way, this is, uh, this is just to show you uh, here in Florida. This is the Cooler Shock. Um, uh, it's an ice pack. And uh, you, you take water and you combine it with the chemical. And you put it in here. And I'm going to tell you what, these things last. Well, this one probably, well, on a hot day, it only lasts maybe 14 hours or so. But that ain't bad for a small one. But the big ones last forever. And that's what I use when I go camping. And uh, they're a lot, lot better than ice. Um, and uh, so this is this is what that that, that will go in. Um, I can't believe I don't have any bologna. <laughs> so I, I'm throwing out some steakums. So, so tomorrow I'll make a steakum sandwich, and I'll throw that in the top of this cooler. This will go in the motorcycle, and uh, of course you know, like I said, we'll have the apple, and uh, so that when I'm done hiking, because it's going to be a long day, it's going to be a big day. I mean, this is this is totally different than anything that you've seen on this video channel before. Um, so this is this is like backpacking eight hours, you know, on on at Isle Royal, you know, where where you're out in the wilderness and uh, you know you can get eaten by a, a wolf or stepped on by a moose, you know. So <clears throat> so here we go. We'll have the hikers. I just kind of wanted to show these. I show them on the videos occasionally, but I don't think you can appreciate them until you see. Look at the tread on that thing, man. You know, and down in here, I got my boot blouse so that the uh, the bugs can't crawl up the... Uh, I'll show you the um, hiking pants here in just a second. Um, and these things are heavy duty, man. I mean, I love them. Um, now, should I have boots on? Yeah. Okay, but these things are so comfortable, and I swear every pair of boots I get rubs blisters when I'm hiking. Well, what we're going to do tomorrow, it's a whole different day. I mean, you know, these things, you can hike eight hours, and I mean, I'm going to tell you what, your feet, it's like, it's like being in a glove, and if you notice the inserts down in here, I got these, uh, what are they called, easy feet. Bought these at Amazon, and I love them, man. They actually, uh, I mean, the inserts in here were good. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I've worn these backpacking without these easy feet, but I think they were a nice addition. Um, so, <clears throat> hiking socks. Okay, these ain't the damn cotton pieces of crap that you buy at Walmart or any of that crap. You got to go to Cabela's or Bass Pro and get you some good hiking socks. I mean, when you're out there for, for many hours, and will I have a pair of socks clipped onto the back so that I can switch the socks out? Hell yeah. Okay, because it's important to change these socks every few hours. Now, is it a hot day tomorrow? And is this why I'm going tomorrow? Well, guess what? I needed a couple of three, three days of uh, without rain. 
because where we're going, it's uh, it's going to be wet. It's going to be muggy, even on a nice day. Uh, we're going to be deep, deep, deep in the forest. So wanted the hiking socks. Um, yep. Guess what? Bear spray. Okay. Should I be packing the gun? Hell yeah, I should be. It's just heavy, and uh, I don't know. I've never, ever tried the bear spray. I'm hoping it'll be enough. Um, so you're saying, well, Kirk, you know, and, and, and am I going to be going through some tall grass and some things where I can't see my feet? Oh, hell yeah. So let's, uh, let's get into that. <clears throat> These are the snake leggings, people. Are they heavy? Yeah. Uh, are they now? These little clips right here. I'm. I the thing. The big gripe I have about these is they wouldn't uh, hold on. So I had to put safety pins in them to keep them from uh, unraveling off my legs. Um, these are these are extra boot blouses. So I'll probably take a couple of those. Um, but these should. If any snakes, uh, copperheads hit low. You know. So if they do come up, hit me. Uh, as long as, in, I mean, in, and because I got 20 inch legs, you know, <laughs> these things are above my knees anyway. So they're going to have to come up to my hip to hit me. Uh, who knows? They could be up in a tree. You never know. <clears throat> what else we got? We got Merino wool briefs. Okay. This is the smart wool. All right. You can get what you want, but it, I mean, I'm going to tell you what, Merino, wearing the Merino wool on a long hike through the forest with uh, the lions and tigers and bears, you just will never regret it. You don't want the cotton, man. You just don't want the cotton. And what's this? This is the Merino wool uh, shirt. Okay. That's going to keep that uh, wicking moisture right off of me. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I may... I may you know, if the bugs aren't bad, I'll be peeling out of that bug jacket and put it in, in my backpack. Okay, and then all I'll have on is this merino wool shirt. So, but I'll be having this underneath the bug jacket. So we got that. <clears throat> and then, these are the hiking pants. And uh, I can't even recommend this enough. You know, like I said, we'll be clipping that uh, um, bear spray onto the little belt here. Uh, these things are light. They, I mean, look at the, you know, they keep the bugs off your legs because, uh, you know, when you're hiking through spider webs, man, they're all around your legs. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff down there, you know, so you got to have the long pants and you're going to have these boot blouses, you know, because you never know when you're going to pull up and just, just want to have a snack. You don't want something crawling up your damn leg, you know, that's why these are going to be boot blouses. You talk to the military person, you're going to have them boot blouses. Um, so, you know, um, I guess, uh, well, that's about it. I, you know, I, I, I'm trying to think uh, anything else uh, that uh, I'll be taking for the hike. You know, my wife, uh, that's another reason I'm making this video because uh, she's a liberal Democrat and uh, she'll be just like, oh my God, you're going out into the forest by yourself and uh, you're going to get eaten by a bear. And that, yeah, that might happen. I mean, I'm going <laughs> to... I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm just not gonna worry about it, man. I've been working around the damn house. I've been working. You know, I keep telling you to get prepared for the coming financial crisis. And uh, so what was I out doing today? I waxed the windows on her car, which, you know, you might say, well, waxing windows, that seems crazy. You know what? That keeps them windshield wipers sliding because it fills in all those little nooks and crannies in the windshield. So those windshield wipers will just wipe that water right off. As long as you got decent windshield wipers, you know, I mean, just a little something for you. And uh, and then, of course, you know, another thing, you know, a lot of people don't think of, pull the spare out. You know, I had the spare out today. It was down to, uh, it was down to 20 pounds, man. I had to pump that thing up to 50 pounds. And uh, I, I, I don't have, well, I have a compressor, but, you know, I need the exercise. So I just used the hand pump. It took a while <laughs> to pump that damn tire up to 50 pounds. But it's real important. And then, of course, I armor all it, or if you want to call it, uh, um, uh, what's the other? Three in one. I think it's three in one is what I used and was hitting it with that. And, uh, and then I, I painted the rim because it sits underneath that car. And, uh, and then, of course, you know, you got to clean it first before you paint it and then, you know, and treat it. And so that way that keeps that spare from cracking and getting old. So uh, just, just throwing out some stuff besides backpacking. All right, man. So I'm going to post this video tomorrow. I mean, I'm just kind of laying a little bit of anticipation. You know, you might be reading about 
what the hell happened to that cybersecurity guy? He got eaten by a bear and nobody found his body in the Ocala National Forest. Could be, you know, what a way to go, huh? At least I'll die fighting, but uh, not dying of cancer in a damn hospital like I, when I had cancer twice laying up in a hospital bed. I'd rather fight a bear any damn day than, than die like that. Of course, nobody wants to die any way possible, but... Uh, all right, so I'm just kind of looking around, trying to think anything else. Uh, of course, the motorcycle's ready to go. I can't, I can't hide it. I'm going to be on 314, going north, and uh, I got to once again park it on the side of the road. I hate that. But then you know, when, here's a, here's another thing for you. I mean, what do I have down inside the motorcycle? Well, that's where the sandwich, and I'm going to have a couple beers for when I'm done for the day, and uh, and of course, lots of water. I'm going to be carrying uh, lots of water bottles. Uh, and of course, toilet paper. <laughs> I got toilet paper in the motorcycle and I got toilet paper in the backpack that I'll be carrying with me. So, you know, because um, I'm old, man, and, and, you know, they messed up my bowels when they, they cured me of cancer. All right, guys, tomorrow's the big, big, big day. Um, different hike, nothing you've seen me do before should be interesting.